Hello and welcome to episode 3 of my subsistence tutorial let's play series. This episode will be on trying to find a good spot to start a base and before I do that though uh, the very first thing I must do which I've been forgetting to do is make a campfire. So for that you need two sticks and three logs so let's first make two sticks. You select the item you want to make and then just left click craft and you can queue this right up. I could do about 10 to 15 of these just by keep repeatedly clicking on craft. Okay, let's unpause. There we go, there's the first one. There's the sticks. Let's now craft a campfire. What it will do is it will automatically place the campfire in the last slot on my hotbar. So there's on the number 8 key. Right, we're now prepared for the night time because we will need a fire, otherwise we will die. Okay, let's now see if we can find where to get our base. So there's the sun, it's midpoint in the sky, so we're halfway through the day. Now the area that I want to start my base, oh wow loads of creatures. Now why do I start say to you in the first episode to start your base where the sun goes down in the west? Well because then it makes it very simple to find your base. Um, if it's getting late in the day you just head towards the, where the sun is. Now it's towards the right of that mountain I believe that that sun is slowly going to go down. So the easiest way to find it, there are so many animals, this is easy mode and yet the place is full of animals, uh, wolves to be exact, and bears, <clears throat> and they're all out for one purpose, to give me a bad day by killing me, uh, which they will do many times over. But anyway, we're going to try, oh, there's a container, and there's another one. We're going to make our way to the base, we're not going to panic, if I have to I'll just slap a fire down wherever. You can pick the fire back up and you'll get half the resources from it. Cool. That's what I need. Bullets. Because if you remember, I used all my bullets up when I panic attacked that uh, last wolf. I basically emptied my chamber on it. But if I get jumped again, I'm going to have to run. Um, although I could... I have got enough bullets to now take care of it you need five unless it's not a level one that's for a tier one creature which is why I did panic attack because I wasn't sure what tier that last wolf was so I just thought let's empty what I got chamber wise into it and see if it gets dropped all right now what I'm doing now is following the Sun to over there but I'm gonna hit the east fence there's a f fence that runs all the way around the perimeter so whilst the map can seem daunting, you can actually guide yourself. So I'm going to head all the way over to the, as far as I can go to the east. Oh, look at all these containers. How cool. And then once I hit the fence, I'm going to travel north. Although I don't, I'm not sure whether it's north or south. Anyway, we'll see. Another one over here. I've got my campfire, so I'm not worried about it being night time. And I've got a bit of food as well. And I'm certainly getting fibres. I've got plenty of fibre in my diet. Oh, here's another container box. There seems to be loads of containers around this area, which tempts me to start a base here. Um, but if I died, it would be too difficult to find my way back, so I will continue with my master plan, which is probably going to be disastrous, but then you've come to expect that from me in games, being completely incompetent. Although I do survive a little, and I do make a bit of progress. Let's 
see I could build it in this main plains but yeah, no way <clears throat> always a good place to build is on rocks creatures will chase you across them but they will not wander across rocks so finding a big rock place like this and starting a base in the middle mind you this isn't wide enough they would still aggro you but if it was a really wide rock face then you could uh, oh there's another container do a base on it and providing they don't roam close enough you'd be safe Well, I'm getting lucky with the containers, though, that's for sure. Okay, let's check that sun. See, it's starting to go down now. Well, it's just on its descent. And that's good, it helps us, uh, because it shows us the way to go home. There's the fence, so I've hit the outer border of the map which I expect at some point will expand as uh, the developer adds content to the game but for now just like I said to you I've hit this fence now I'm going to travel north which you can see is in the direction of where the sun is going down so it makes it very simple rabbits there's rabbits and chickens in the game you can catch chickens by running after them it may seem daunting at first but trust me when I tell you there's a technique to it which I will show. For rabbits however, <clears throat> I've tried chasing them down. They just run, they run like a lunar, you know, they run lunicidal speed. There's like they've got a rocket tape to the derriere. And when you go near a rabbit, rabbit uh, yeah, when you go near a rabbit it just sort of launches itself into turbo speed it goes to light speed rabbits so not much chance of catching them but the chickens are a different story you can catch chickens which is good source of feathers and meat so I do want to show that at some point oh there's another container I hope I can get all of this and still make it to where I want to make my base You know me, I like to ninja loot, so I have to grab them chests. We're still doing alright though, the sun hasn't quite... <coughs> it's a bit of a way off of getting dark, yeah. So I should have time to make it to where I want to get to. Though I could, you could make your base anywhere along this uh, eastern fence. As long as you can see your base from running along this fence, you'll be fine. So maybe I'll try a different spot. Oh, I don't know. Let's just wander up and see what happens. Oh, there's a wolf. I don't need to kill another wolf, I've got some meat. So on average though, you need to kill one wolf a day if you can, if you can find the bullets. And that will ensure you always have enough food. Okay, let's check how much wood we've got. So, 26 logs. I'm going to need to make a load of planks, so i better start chopping wood because we haven't really got enough for a base yet. Hopefully this will be sorted out where you haven't got to keep looking for the wood on the ground because it can be a bit of a nightmare. Sometimes it disappears and you can't see it. going. You're now seeing, we're now approaching where I'm recommending to have your base, where it's all completely, you can see right in the distance. So if there's any nasty wolves or bears, you're going to see them coming. Wow, 
Wow, look at that. Managed to get all four without any dropping on the ground. Am I improving? I think not, but I did get a better collector rate. Oh, didn't start doing really well at that. No, one got away. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so let's keep moving this way. Hope there's no wolf behind this big rock builder. I'm malnourished. Okay, let's keep going north. And up here is a good spot for a base. No creatures roam here, so you don't have to worry about each time you're leaving and going back to your base. This, I've never seen any creature over here. And you can see, you can see the fence from it. You'll be able to see your base from it. You'll be able to see your base from walking along the fence which the fence does disappear when you get a little distance away, but trust me, the fence is there. So, let's do this. Let's um, build a base foundation. So a wood foundation we need. I need to do four more planks before it gets dark. So one, two, three, four. How many nails have I got? 34. You need um, 12 nails for your foundation and you need 10 nails for your storage crate. You have to have 22 nails. Once you get 22 nails, then that's it, you're set. Uh, well, we do need to make some stairs, which is another 10. So if you have 32 nails, which thankfully I do, you can get your base up and running. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's get back to the wood foundation. Need two more planks and we're on a race before it gets dark plus you can see I'm taking losing health although it's very slowly one more plank and I can do the foundation right cool now let's build the foundation Actually, I can drink my berry juice. That'll give me a little bit of a boost to everything. I want to cook this meat before it gets rotten, which it will real soon. Right, okay, got the foundation. Next, let's make a storage crate or the stairs. Let's make the stairs, actually. So we need four more planks. Okay, let's place the foundation down. So if I press the seven key, want to raise it a little off the ground hopefully I can do this before I start taking damage uh, let's put it this side there ok next got to build the stairs up to it in a bit of a rush here because the temperature is going to start plummeting and that will mean I die and will lose all my stuff and I was no way I'd find my corpse at night time so I am in a real rush here to get these st stairs laid and my fire put down. I could put the fire down here, but I want to put it on top there. Come on, logs, planks. One more to do, and then I can build some stairs. Come on. I'm far too young to die. Or die again, I should say. Right, great. Let's make the stairs. that temperature dips and I start taking serious health damage see how dark it gets pitch black won't see how to see a thing right let's put the stairs down oh come on oh don't bug out on me Look, don't bug out on me all right I'm taking damage I'm getting hurt I'm gonna be dead just let me lay the in stairs for your game. What the? Ah, there we go. Right, sorry about that. I was getting a bit stressed because it's getting dark. I'm not going to be able to see. Oh, now it don't want to let me onto my. For goodness sake. So let's put the stairs too high. Right, let's 
alarm's going, I'm getting stressed, let's put it down there, let's F that, being a suitable word, and let's put some matches in, ignite, I can pick the fire up, so it's just so frigging annoying that it didn't put the fire down correctly. Look, here's the poxy steers, why aren't it going up them? Oh, it's done them just a bit too much off the ground. So I'm going to have to pull them apart. Right, okay, anyway, let's put the meat on before it rots. So you drop the meat on the fire. See, it says raw. Notice it's going to give me plus 12 protein, 1 fruit and veg, and 10 to hunger. Watch that climb as it gets cooked. Notice the fire icon here. The temperature's climbed up because I'm next to the fire, so I'm not taking damage anymore. I know there's no creatures roam around this area, so I'm not worried about being on the ground. Okay, our steak is now... What's the status of our steak? Come on, game. There we go, slightly cooked. Notice the protein has gone from 10 to 20. Fruit and veg has gone from 1 to 2. Hunger's gone from 10 to 15. So that's really cool, but we've got one more stage for it to cook, because that's only slightly cooked. And you can see we definitely need the protein. So we want that to cook a bit more so we get better stats off of the food. There we go, cooked steak. Take it off, don't let it burn. So you can see now it's jumped another nine, so we get 29 from protein. Another one on fruit and veg, and four more on hunger. So let's eat it. And there we go, look at that, how oh, cool. We really needed that. Okay, fruit and veg is still a bit low, so we can eat some apples. And there we are, looking really good with our food. Okay, notice we're getting ash from the fire. You need ash for two reasons. One, it's used for making gunpowder, I believe, which we won't have access to yet, yet. And also for farming, so keep a hold of your ash. It is going to be very useful. I just can't friggin' believe this. Frickin' frackin', you name it, I'm stressed with this. Because as all as I wanted to do was show you... So let's pull the friggin' things down. This is so stressed me out. I just wanted to lay some poxy steers before it got poxy dark so I wouldn't start dying. And what does the game want to do? It just wants to stress me out. Right, okay, so we need to do another two planks. I just want to show you, I know the time has gone, but this, I want to show you some certain amount of progress before I end the episode so I can start the next fucking episode from off there. Well, I suppose looking on the bright side, at least I didn't die this episode. So I'm going to try and lay my stairs again and see if I can get it right this time. Which is highly unlikely, as you all know how incompetent I truly am. But we're going to try. I'm running low on wood. Once you fill the fire up with logs, by the way, with fuel, that's enough to last you through the whole night. You don't need to add any more, so don't. Don't waste them. Don't do it. Uh, just leave the fire burning with the, the fuel you put into it, and that will take you all through the night. Okay, so let's see if I can put the stairs down now without the game being a complete bugger. Yeah, right, that's not going to be on the ground. See, that's the thing, it's, I might have to rip down my foundation as well. Oh, wait a minute, that looks like it's on the ground. What's it frickin' doing? Right, let's go over here, 
am I in range of the fire? Yes, I am. So I can stand on my platform. Not that I need to. I know there's no creatures out here. Oh, well, let's just show you something quickly. Yo, I got the glow. What can I say? It's about as useful as a um, grave digger in a crematorium. Um, but anyway, that's the glow stick. What I wanted to show you, though, was the chest. So, let's see. Didn't I make a chest? No, I haven't. So, have I got enough wood? Wait a minute. I did make a chest. But for some reason, it's disappeared. Because I, had, oh no, I wasted my nails on having to do the stairs again. Great. Okay, so I've got no nails. I'm going to end this episode here and go outside and scream as loud as I can because welcome to subsistence. It is hard to start with and you will be pulling your hair out and screaming and swearing and cursing um, but I'll leave that all for another episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.